If you use advanced surfacing to create stylish consumer products or simply to make your complex machinery more appealing and user-friendly, SOLIDWORKS 2013 has a number of new productivity tools that I know you'll love, like the new sketch tool for creating true conics. Let's take a quick look at how easy they are to create using the profile of this nose cone. SOLIDWORKS has always had sketch tools for ellipses and parabolas, but if you needed a different ellipse profile or a hyperbola, then splines were the only option. Now you have a new sketch tool that helps you create the shapes you need with ease. The new conic curve is simple to create. Pick the endpoints and top vertex, then drag the mouse to define the shape. Adding tangency to adjacent geometry is easy, as usual, with the familiar pop-up menus that show only the relevant options. For more control, a dimension for the row value of the curve can also be added. A value of 0.5 gives you a parabola, less than 0.5 an ellipse, and greater a hyperbola. One of the main uses for conics in surfacing is to bridge the gaps between two other entities. Splines with tangency can be used, but there's always the danger that changes to the design will cause inflections or kinks in the surface, as shown by these black arrows. If you use a conic to bridge a gap, then it's impossible to get inflections. What you do get is exact control of your profile, so you don't need to worry about design changes further down the line. So whether you're a surfacing master or simply want to add a little style to your products, the Conic Curve in SOLIDWORKS 2013 is simple to use and delivers powerful results.